getting cold, isn't it? It's been a long time since I touched this tumble dryer. Still same tumble dryer? One last thing I want to do for this tumble dryer. The condition of the tumble dryer is still stops. However, only the condition at the beginning of the cycle and uh, only when fully loaded inside. It doesn't stop and straight away okay when the stuff inside isn't too much or the stuff inside is half dried and no stops. So I wonder why it still stops when fully loaded inside. I'm thinking the theory I mentioned in the second video of this series, the pressure increase inside. When the stuff inside is too much and it starts steam up a lot in one go, that increases the pressure, that increases the heat, then stops. That's my theory. So in order to mitigate that condition, I have one idea I want to do. Let me explain. Back part of the panel to remove. And remove the duct as well. And heat unit to check the heat temperature sensor and limit the sensor. Give a little bit of wipe. Looks all okay, so put everything back. So what I want to do is to reduce the pressure inside the drum. If you look close on this back part of the tumble dryer, there's a tiny hole here just outside of this duct. Tiny hole, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight of them. These holes are intake hole from inside the drum. So the humid air from inside the drum is pulled by this fun by going through those tiny holes. Humid air is pulled by this fun and that moisture air is sent through this duct and heated by this coil, heat coil. And the sensor picks up the temperature of the humid hot air here. If the steam and humid air and high pressure inside the drum heated here, higher temperature than the program set, then limiter stops the system. That's what is theory. So, so I'm thinking how to reduce the pressure inside the drum. Yes, you have to reduce the stuff put into the drum for the drying cycle. But if you want to put anyway, lots of stuff, of course, big tumble dryer, drum is big. It's supposed to have a uh, lots of clothes to dry up in one go. How can I do? I was thinking to increase this intake hole or maybe opposite to block those holes to reduce the cycle of the pressured air from the drum, pull out, going through this heat and uh, send some up to here, I was thinking, I was confused. I wasn't sure which is better, to close the intake hole, the size smaller, or to increase the intake hole bigger. Maybe reduce that cycle as the remedy. So I want to close off some of the holes and try how it goes. I found some tiny screws from my old stock. I just put those screws into holes. So total eight of intake holes. So I put four of them and how it goes. Check the screw is really tight. This is the intake hole and closed intake hole. So I closed four out of eight intake holes. So I put the panel back. In order to know the result of this action, I didn't touch any other errors. I didn't do anything for heat exchanger as well. I didn't clean anything else at all. So first try after the modification. Try again. However, soon this happened. Stopped first. It wasn't exactly steamed up either and tried again. However, it stopped again. So it didn't improve anything at all. I didn't do anything good. So I do the opposite idea to increase the intake hole, to make the process of humid air to go outside of this drum quicker. Let's try that. So remove the back panel again to access the hole. The current intake hole diameter is 3 mm. So the idea is to increase this 3 mm to 5 mm by wedging. I made a bigger for another two and removed the screws I use for closing intake hole. So I made three holes bigger out of it. Eight holes. Let's put it back and see how it goes. I had a chance to use a tumble dryer just after this modification. These are half dry and uh, short lot amount. Let's try. 
But the result wasn't what I wanted. I think it stops soon. I knew this from past experience. When the machine stops, always strange monitor change happens. It stopped. With the bigger hole, it didn't make any difference. Even for short of amount and half-dried materials, it still stops. I didn't fix anything. Not as much steam as I thought. Not dried. So maybe the pressure isn't that issue. And I don't know what's the issue. After this, I decided to see the airflow system heat exchanger and found this this sludge was accumulated in the sump maybe i should have done those cleaning before doing any test heat exchanger was completely blocked by fluff no air chance to go in through either way side or going through to the vertical so i did deep clean washed my hose and put the heat exchanger in the water for a couple of hours and clear it away all fluffs also intake duct to clean on the front cover and put everything back. The result was the initial one, no stops, success. But the second one stopped once. The third one, it didn't stop all the way through. I didn't feel anything I fixed. So I was back to the back of the tumble dryer. The intention is to make the other five holes from 3 mm diameter to 5 mm. So this is about 2.8 times bigger holes for the intake I prepared. The result is still the same that still stops. So I didn't take another video of stopping the machine all the time. What I was trying to do is to reduce the pressure inside the drum or machine to making the intake hole bigger. I thought the intake hole bigger brings the compressed air inside the drum go out quicker. That can reduce the speed of the pressure going too much higher than increase the temperature inside the machine and trips the trigger. However, it didn't seem to work. Whether my theory wasn't exactly correct, pressure going higher, temperature going higher, and limiter sensor trips off the machine. I'm not sure that's really correct or not. Anyway, the dilemma of this machine is pressure inside the drum has to be getting higher. Otherwise, the compressed heated air cannot be pushed downwards by going through this duct. Without high pressure inside the drum, the air cannot be sent, pushed onto here. And the machine system, the tumble dryer system doesn't work. So pressure increases is necessary inside the drum. Only the one thing, if I were maker or engineer of this one, how about increase the setup temperature for the trigger to trips off for the system than now. However, I don't think I can do that. At the end of the last video, video 3, I mentioned about controller. Controller may be something wrong with it. However, with my theory, I shown in this video, if the temperature setting inside the program doesn't change, the condition of tumble dryer performance will not change. So I will not replace the controller this time. Do I still use this dryer? The lifetime of tumble dryer is up to 15 years. This tumble dryer is the 10th year this year. I'm expecting this should last a bit longer than now. So I carry on using this tumble dryer. But any change it happens or any thought I could think of and try, I would update the video for the new trial. But till then, I have nothing else I could do now. Thanks for watching today. Please also be advised, if you need a sealant gum, please choose Twist Skater. Not this, but Twist